index.html file and basically I have a div where I can store the logs uh, that I write from the module. So let's get started. So what you can do is you can start with a module. So here let's say my module is equal to and here I can write what I want in my module. So let's say I declare some private variable private wash equal to 10. Then I can declare a function and this I can call it as a private function and we don't really need to give it any argument for now so let's just uh, give it this one. And here in this private uh, function, what I'm going to do is just uh, do the logging. Hash logs dot append. And I'm going to say private variable is called, private function is called. So let's see what uh, what happens if I just have that. So if I uh, try to use it, uh, I guess the function is just running the module and uh, I didn't really call it or anything, but this is uh, what it is. So let's say what we want to do is uh, we want to change the jQuery uh, from dollar uh, because we are reusing dollar for something else. So what we can do is we can uh, set into this ify function the dollar, which is the jQuery symbol. And so we can't use the jQuery symbol dollar here inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name. So let's say we I call it JQ. And uh, essentially what I can do is uh, I can call JQ here and uh, see what happens now. So um, you can see that this function is uh, compiles and everything and it's good. So now it comes to the part of making it a module. So I'm going to return an object. And in that object, uh, I'm going to essentially return some uh, public uh, functions. And let's say it doesn't take any arguments either. And we can say jq hash logs dot pend public function called and let's say in this public function I want to be able to use my private function so I can just call private function private uh, function Okay, so now we have a module which uh, has all this function. So let's see what we can do with the my module. So if you say my module dot public function, so here you can see uh, I have defined a module where I have redefined the jQuery symbol, and also now it can call a public function, and uh, obviously the private function is not accessible. So another uh, thing you can do with this is uh, something called the revealing module and revealing module is basically uh, you have the same uh, function which is uh, defined as private but you want to call it with a different name uh, from outside. So let's say if I want to define a, a revealing module I could say a private function revealed and it's basically uh, renaming it for uh, renaming it for public usage and I can do that and let's see if it uh, works so it, it compiles so let's see if we can call this revealing function and then my module dot private function revealed
So here you can see that this is a, uh, the last line is where the private function is called and uh, it's being revealed. So essentially what you can do is you have two ways of returning this thing and uh, that's pretty much how you can define the JavaScript modules and you can redefine some of the symbols and uh, so here you go. And if you want to learn more, you can go to my website at godassociates.com. Thank you very much for watching this screencast.